If you want to build a strong chiseled chest that's balanced and proportional, one of the best ways to achieve this is with a range of key exercises and techniques. And today we're gonna to be looking at just how to do this. I am Rob Richards here at Powertech's headquarters in Paramount, California for this week's Training 101 workout. Today, I'm running you through a typical chest routine that will help you build greater strength and power as well as give you great aesthetics. This will work every muscle in your chest as well as some of your shoulders, arms, and core. So I recommend performing this followed by a rest day and then work on your lower body so that you're giving yourself at least three days recovery time before working the upper body again. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and also turn on notifications so you can follow these Powertech Fit Training 101 workouts as soon as they're released. These weekly videos are done for you strength and conditioning workouts that remove all guesswork by showing you exactly what you need to do step by step to build strength and power and achieve that dream physique. We've done the hard part for you. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and follow along. Now, let's get to work. Within this video, you're gonna see me on a range of Powertech workstations. Now, whether you choose to follow along at the gym, have your very own Powertech setup, or just wanna pick up a few key Powertech pieces, I'll be providing all the information along with the workouts in the description below. You can also click on the slide out links to learn more about each machine and equipment as seen in today's video. Every great workout starts with a great warm up. So take five to 10 minutes to get the heart rate elevated, warm up the muscles and joints with some dynamic bodyweight movements, get the blood pumping, then let's get going. For this workout, you'll perform each exercise in a linear fashion. Perform all sets using the prescribed weight and rep range shown, then move on to the next exercise. Aim to increase the resistance by 10% if you can complete the desired rep range and lower it by 10 to 20% if you're unable to achieve this unless it's on that final working set. I want you to really focus on controlling the weight back down and fully engaging the muscles as you work through each rep. You should use a weight that is about 70% of your one rep max. So if you can bench press a 200 pound weight, you should be using about 140 pounds. I highly recommend keeping track of each exercise and weight during your workout so that next time you follow this, you can aim to increase some of the weights or at least try for an extra rep or two. Now, let's get this going. Exercise number one, incline dumbbell press. Set the bench to a 45 degree angle and ensure your lower back is firmly pressed into the bench. Keep your feet flat on the floor to ensure a solid foundation and start with the dumbbells close to the side of your chest with your palms facing forwards. Take a deep breath and exhale as you drive the dumbbells upwards, keeping your elbows from flaring out. This will help keep much more of the effort on your pecs and less on the shoulder muscles. Don't fully lock out the arms at the top, but do squeeze the chest muscles, not just gripping the dumbbells harder. Lower back down at a slightly slower pace as you take in a breath through your nose. Perform one to two warm-up sets using 50% of your one rep max then work through three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions, increasing the weight if you can for each set. Rest time should be kept to no longer than 60 seconds. But if you need a little longer, take your time. Just be aware of how much time you're resting for. You can see here that these dumbbells may look a little different to you. And that's because these are exclusively available from Powertech called off-center polyurethane dumbbells. This new patented off-center handle design offers a new and unique approach to the normal dumbbell workout. Exercise number two, flat bench barbell press. Now that the muscles, joints, and ligaments are nicely warmed up, we can start to work towards our heaviest exercise while our energy levels are still high. If you train with a partner, now is the time you may want to get some assistance during your lifts. I'm using the Powertech Olympic bench, which has a fully adjustable flat, incline, decline bench that can slide forward and back for the most optimal pressing positions. It also comes with Powertech's signature attachment adapter that can be fitted with a wide selection of attachments for even more exercise options. It's also got this great support midway down, so if you're training alone and you can't quite push it all the way back up, you can rack it here and safely exit the machine. Just like with the incline dumbbell press, keep the arms from fully locking out and don't let the elbows flare out. You can actually feel a big difference on how the chest is working by slightly angling your elbows inwards as you press up. 
Aim for three to four working sets of eight to 10 reps each, increasing the weight by five to 10% on each set if you're able to achieve those 10 reps. If you're struggling to add more weight, try incorporating a rest pause. This is where you rack the weight after reaching close to your failure and rest for no longer than 20 seconds. Still on the bench, then lift that weight back up and aim for a few more reps. Exercise number three, pec fly or dumbbell flies. With our two big press movements out of the way, we can focus on some more detail work for the chest. A fly movement mimics the movement of a bird flapping its wings, and it's also a great way to help thicken out that chest. I'm seen here using the Powertech Workbench Pec Fly Attachment, which attaches right on the end of my Powertech Workbench. This really is the ultimate pectoral isolation tool. Just like if you're using dumbbells, Keep the angle at the elbow fixed as this will focus all of the effort on the pecs and less on the arms. Engage the chest as you bring the handles or dumbbells closer together at the top, but don't let them touch. Pause for a split second while you squeeze the chest and then return back to starting position at a slightly slower pace. Aim to perform three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. While you can still work towards adding weight, you can also perform a drop set or superset each set with some chin-ups to failure. This is actually a great exercise with a great stretch for the chest as it helps open up much of the muscle fibers in the chest that may become tight from weight training. Exercise number four, cable flies using varied height. Now sticking with the fly movement for one more exercise, I'm performing these with cables adjusting the height from low, mid to high for each set. Doing this ensures that I'm working the chest through a range of different angles. And as the pecs are actually more like a fan-shaped muscle, it's good to be training it from these different angles to ensure greater development and help you give that chest a fuller looking appearance. Here I'm using the Powertech Functional Trainer Deluxe, which is one of the most versatile and unique training systems on the market with a total resistance capacity of a thousand pounds. It comes standard with two separate weight Olympic horns, which can be loaded with 300 pounds each for even greater weight capacity. This means the user can choose to add two optional 200 pounds. Weight stacks that will bring each station to a total of 500 pounds, so you can really perform a lot of exercises just from this one machine alone, especially when you want to add the workbench in with some of those attachments. Just like with the pec fly or dumbbell flies, keep the elbows at more or less a fixed angle so that it's your chest that has to do all the work. Tilt slightly forwards at the waist and keep your chest lifted up with your shoulders pulled back. Some people prefer to cross their hands over for each rep, which can give a greater squeeze in the chest. If you do this, just be sure to alternate which hand comes over which. Aim to perform three sets, one for each height, for 15 reps. Cables and weight stacks also allow for fast and effective drop sets, meaning you can lower the weight and immediately get back into the movement, which keeps tension high on the muscles without it always being about the weight. I like to add this at least for the final working set. I lift my maximum weight for about six to eight reps, then lower the weight by 20 to even 50% and try to perform the rest of the reps. As it's my final exercise with cables, I may even keep stripping the weight down and performing more reps until I can barely bring my arms together. Exercise number five, dumbbell pullover and some push-ups. I like to finish off my chest workout with these lying dumbbell pullovers. It's not only a great stretch for the chest, but also helps expand your diaphragm, which helps widen the appearance of your chest. Position yourself sideways to the bench with your upper back supported on the bench. Hold a dumbbell vertically with your palms open under the plate. Allow your wrists to act like a rudder as you control the dumbbell back over your head, keeping your arms straight with a slight bend at the elbow. Take a big deep breath in as you do this and feel that great stretch in the chest. Pause, then exhale as you slowly return back to that starting position. Aim to perform two to three sets of eight to 12 reps. And if you like, you can even superset these with regular push-ups to ensure you're really giving it all you've got during the final minutes of your workout. And that's it for this week's Powertech Fit Training 101 workout. Congratulations. Perform this workout every week with the goal of increasing either your weights or at least one to two more reps during your final working sets on each exercise. You can also switch up some of the training principles shown within today's video. So 
Hit that thumbs up button and show some love if you like this week's workout and be sure to subscribe to Powertech Fitness and turn on those notifications so you're the first to know when we post our next video filled with more workouts, training tips, and techniques. You won't wanna miss a single one. Until next time, keep training hard.